Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're looking at PowerShell Cones. PowerShell Cones is a PowerShell module that helps you learn PowerShell by using uh, pester tests and um, has kind of a cool uh, concept. Um, it's based on the, uh, the idea of a cone, which is a story dialogue question statement in the practice of Zen. So the idea here is that you're working towards, um, you know, that feeling of Zen with PowerShell. So um, you can install the PowerShell module from the PowerShell gallery. And once that's installed, what you're actually going to do is uh, call show karma. Oop, if I can type show karma. And what this will do will it'll actually show you the next question that pretty much you need to answer inside your cones progress. So as you can see here, I have not completed any of the cones progress. You can see at the bottom here, uh, there are 682 like samples or um, pretty much tests that you need to solve to kind of reach your uh, enlightenment inside PowerShell. So. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have some output from an error, which in this case is a pretty much a pester test failure. And what I could do is actually um, run show karma um, meditate. And what that'll do is it'll open uh, VS Code um, in, in my environment. And you can see here that this is the about assertions cones.ps1 file. So the idea is that there are a bunch of different PS1 files with pester tests inside them. And then your like job is to go through and fill in those pester tests so they uh, pass successfully. So uh, this first cone is about um, kind of getting familiar with the cones interface. So in this case, uh, pretty much what we want to do is fill in uh, these blanks that are uh, represented in each one of the it blocks of our pester test here. So for example, if I needed, uh, if I wanted to uh, pass this particular cone, I could just specify true here. Um, and then if I save that and then go back to my PowerShell prompt, and then if I run show karma again, it's actually gonna run through the test. And you can see here that now I've made some progress on the cone. So I've done one of four in the about assertions uh, cone uh, PS1 file and um, a total of one of the 682 cones that are available inside the PS cones module. So now if I were to uh, move on to the next cone, um, you can see here I could let's say I don't do this correctly and I show my karma it's going to actually show that I did not actually meet the, uh, the cones requirement because this particular uh, should assertion has failed. So now if I go back and modify that so that it's correct and run show karma again, uh, you'll see that now I've advanced to the, uh, the next section in, uh, or the next cone inside PS cones. So um, you can continue to work your way through um, the cones um, that are available. And uh, it kind of gets progressively harder. I honestly haven't gone that far into this, but I did take a peek at some of the, the harder cones that are out there. So um, it actually creates a cones directory um, inside your user folder. And then it copies all these PS1 files. So um, you can kind of edit them to your heart's delight and always reset uh, those PS1 files. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but if you actually click this PS Cones um, folder, you can see that there are a whole bunch of different files. Um, and right now we're in about assertions, but there are you know fundamentals, patterns, commandlets, all kinds of things that you will learn um, by working your way through Cones. Um, some of the uh, kind of more complex things are these katas, and they are examples of like some pretty hard to um, I guess, uh, figure out uh, challenges. So for example, here we have Microsoft stock data. And the idea with this test is it'd be really easy to do with um, commandlets like uh, convert uh, from CSV, that kind of thing. Um, but you're not allowed to use commandlets in this particular example. Um, and pretty much you need to implement this function in a way that uh, we can process that data and then get uh, the greatest variance between the stock data and uh, which data it would be on. And you can see here that uh, it's um, 
March 13th. So uh, that's kind of an example of like kind of how complex uh, these cones can get. So you could really kind of uh, work out your skills um, just using some of these uh, cool pester tests. So um, I think this one would be even challenging for me to kind of figure out exactly how to uh, come by that solution in the best way possible. Um, there are some other things to know about cones. Uh, in terms of uh, kind of what I've shown so far is kind of your expected default um, behavior, but there are things that you can do um, that you can configure and that you can um, that you can understand about PS cones. Uh, first of all, um, there are PS cones um, settings. So uh, the cone location is pretty much where it stores your progress for your cones. So uh, all your progress is just stored in those PS1 files. And then there's a copy of those like clean PS1 files um, inside the PS cones directory, uh, like module directory. Uh, and then you can also change your editor. Uh, right now it is defaulting to VS code. And that's why when I call show karma meditate, it actually opens up um, VS code. Um, with that particular PS1 file in it. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you mess up a file or you just want to start over on something, you can call reset PS cone and it will allow you to actually reset the um, pretty much the current thing you're on or all of them. It has a bunch of different options. Um, and if I just said, yeah, let's reset everything and we go back to my cones file, you'll see that I am back to square one and I've reset all my cones. Um, one other neat little feature is uh, the show advice um, commandlet. And what this does is there is actually a uh, whole bunch of little tidbits of information that you can learn um, that are not necessarily related to the cone you're on or anything like that, but it just kind of uh, provides you with a cool little uh, tidbit of um, PowerShell advice that you can use when um, editing PowerShell. And I guess the idea here is that you can actually um, put that show advice command right in your PowerShell profile. So then every time you open up um, the uh, your, your PowerShell prompt, you'll see uh, a little tidbit of advice and you might learn something new uh, every time you open up PowerShell. So uh, PS Cones is a super cool module for learning PowerShell. If you're a beginner or you're a more advanced user, you're probably going to learn something from PS Cones. So it's been kind of fun to kind of go through and see things that I might not know or um, see how far I can get before I'm really challenged. Um, so I definitely suggest to go to the PowerShell um, gallery and get this installed. And uh, if you like videos like this, uh, subscribe to my channel for more Module Mondays.